Hi, Amanda family. You know, more and more people seem to be getting bored with their limited daily routines because of this virus. It's been said, variety is the spice of life. And right now, life seems pretty basic in many ways. We all seem to need some more spice. Interesting, the nation of Israel had that same experience when they were traveling through the wilderness from Egypt to Canaan. God graciously gave them food from heaven. Now, of course, that's a blessing because there's not a lot of food growing in the desert, as you can imagine. The Bible describes this food in Exodus 16.31, and it says, The house of Israel named it manna, and it was like coriander seed, white, and its taste was like wafers with honey. The sons of Israel ate the manna 40 years until they came into an inhabited land, and Numbers 11.9 said that when the dew fell on the camp at night, the manna would fall with it. So it would fall at night when the Israelites were sleeping. And this was God's provision for Israel. And they ate this manna three times a day, seven days a week, for 40 years. Now the trip was only supposed to take two years, but disobedience extended it for another 38 years. So this was a pretty monochromatic diet for 40 years. And as you can imagine, it didn't take Israel very long to start to complain about it. In Numbers 11, uh, they started complaining and they said, Who will give us meat to eat? We remember the fish we used to eat in Egypt, the cucumbers and the melons and the leeks and the onions and the garlic. But now our appetite is gone. There is nothing to look at except this manna. So the routine food was really starting to get to Israel. They were missing the spices. From Egypt, they complained about God's food, and they wound up craving the food in Egypt, and they had forgotten that they were slaves in Egypt, just a minor point, but they missed the miracle of God's provision. With manna, they didn't have to plant seeds, pull weeds, water plants, cultivate, harvest. With manna, all they had to do was step outside their tent and pick it up off the ground. And yet they were ungrateful to God and began to whine and complain. Numbers 11 says, So God sent them quail and a plague to discipline them for their ingratitude over his provision. It's terribly easy to complain. The circumstances we're in are very bland. I know there's a lot of things we're not doing. But they can be a blessing and not a burden if we see them from God's point of view. God gave Israel the daily food that he knew they needed when they were in the wilderness. And today, God is giving us exactly what we need during this coronavirus pandemic. Moses reminded the nation why God gave them manna in Deuteronomy 8.16 when he said, In the wilderness, God fed you manna which your fathers did not know, that he might humble you and that he might test you to do good for you in the end. So one of the purposes of the manna was that God was teaching Israel to depend on him alone. He was also teaching them to be grateful for whatever God provided. You know, when I was a child growing up on the farm, whatever mama cooked for dinner is what you ate. And you didn't complain because that was all there was to eat. Hunger makes a really good cook. Today, God is using this pandemic, among other things, to teach us to depend on him alone, also to be grateful for everything he provides. Maybe more manna and less spice is what we really need right now. Remember, God designed us to do life together.